All right, it's coming to you from a galaxy not so far, far away. <laughs> now, Star Wars. Now, Star Wars, I'm a little bit more favourable about that than I am with Marvel. On the um, special we did about Marvel, I pretty much just slated it, didn't I? I was not cared. Um, but with Star Wars, I'm a bit more, more favourable to that. Um, I have I've seen the whole of Skywalker trilogy, by the way, not trilogy saga, saga. I've seen all the trilogies. So like, that's what I was meant to say. I've seen all the trilogies, which are in this Skywalker saga. So oh god, that, that's not great stuff. <laughs> There's only one trilogy that I actually really, really, really love, and I'm prepared for the backlash here. I'm, I'm prepared for, to get shot for this. The only trilogy I love is the, is the prequel trilogy. I know. Don't shoot me! Don't run your lifesaver at me in cold blood! <laughs> I know. I'm prepared for that! Oh, but no. That's the only one of the, of the three trilogies in this Skywalker saga that I actually really, really, really love. Um, yeah. I really, I know, I just like, slap. Um, and for me, when it comes to what area of Star Wars do you love, I think anything between the, 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 the prequel trilogy and just before the first, number four, episode four, that's the kind of time period I'm interested in. So that is Star Wars content set between the prequel tri trilogy to just before episode four begins. That's kind of the timeline that's the era of the timeline that I'm really interested in. Um so I have also seen Andor. That was kind of a that was kind of a, that thirty was kind of a roller coaster for me. I've done I've done a lot of review, reviews on each of the episodes and um it's part of my Disney Plus review series. And each week I was kinda of like I was like, up, 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 up or that was like it never, it never had a consistency for me. It was like even one week I'm loving it, and some hate it, it's like ah God, what season two is going to be like. Um, I've seen that. Also seen um, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Love that. Absolutely love that. Um, yeah, again, he is my favorite character. Go on in a minute. Um, I'm also currently in the midst of um, watching the, um, the, the the animated series, The Clone Wars. I'm in the middle of. I'm currently in the middle of that. I'm coming on to season one. But then, Slowly ticking away with that. Um, yeah, so I've started, so I started, started that last last year, so not long after um, Obi-Wan Kenobi came out. So I started that. Um, but yeah, so I need to. Yeah, I've got a way to go on that. Just, um, not sure what to make of it at the moment, but maybe, maybe in a couple of seasons in, I'll be. We'll see, because there's quite a few things like that. But yeah, but, um, <laughs> yeah. So I have seen the whole prequel trick. All the all the trilogies, prequels love the, the most. Um, in case you're wondering, um, what my thoughts are on um, Jar Jar Binks, because everyone's got an opinion on that. Do what I say, kill him. Personally, for me, I'm, I'm I'm just like, kill him. In fact, if anybody loves Jar Jar Binks, you need to get yourself sorted out. You much no. Tell you what, if anybody actually out there does love Jar Jar Binks, you deserve to get a lightsaber run through you. No, no, no. No, no. And I thought, I thought we were going to go scot free and waver in number three. Honestly, of the whole prequel series, Revenge of the Sith is kind of like my favourite one. Um, it's my favourite of the, of the three. And right at the very end, Jar Jar Binks ruins him when he shows up and pat my funeral. It's like, I know you want, I, I'm like, I know you want to show you some specs, but I'm like, fuck off. Should be you that's dead. It's like just no think. I mean, this is literally so yeah. So I just literally was when I was each other. I'm like, oh, for goodness sake, just kill it, kill, kill him. Sadly, he gets to live to the end of that trilogy. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there, I'm not gonna go there because it will get rude. It will get fight. It will get stuck. It will get spicy with my language. So. No, I'm not going. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Just kill him! Kill him! 
kill him. Yeah. Um, as I mentioned, Andor, I, I also have seen uh, Rogue One. I don't know what to make of that. I've had to watch that a couple of times now. And, um, honestly, I don't know what to make of that. I really don't. Um, so, I'm, so actually, so I'm finding Andor quite interesting. Because I get to learn a bit more about this character. Um, because in Rogue One, there's just no time for character development. It's literally, it's, it's just so, it's non-stop action pace. There's no time to have a breather to pause and develop these characters. So, and basically, that's what Andor gets to do in his own series. So that's good there. Um, yeah. So I touched on the other night with the, with the people too. Most of my favorite that, feeling that one, and I'm talking my favorite as well. So I'll do that now. Um, the reason why I love Revenge of the Sith is because I kind of feel that for me is just where it's just like so full on action pack. I mean, the first two are kind of slow burners. Now, when, when you have a film that goes on really, really, really lengthy, as these Star Wars films do, you don't want to be sat in that cinema just thinking, how much longer is this shit on for? Dragging on. It's dragging on a bit, isn't it? Yeah, you'll keep watches. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, but I felt with the third film, no, it's just, 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 it's got that right balance of action-packed moments and filler scenes where you can have moments of, to, to pause. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if filler scenes the right description. But it's all I can think of right now. It's these, mo these moments where you can just pause and take the time out to do some character development. And I felt we got a good balance of that. Um. And of course, obviously, it's where everything comes together. Everything, you know, comes together. It's, yeah, it just, it's just absolutely action packed. There's not a great, we have a lot of great jewels in there as well. That's absolutely, that are, that are so iconic. There's a lot of, I most remember that a lot from Obi Wan. You got, you can't, you cannot not feel for Obi Wan in that bad world. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. So out of all the Star Wars films. Revenge of the Sith is absolutely my favourite. It's absolutely the one I would always go back and definitely, definitely watch. <laughs> the rest is like, mm, you, mean, you can still watch it all if you want to, I don't mind. But with Revenge of the Sith, it's like, oh yes, please. Hold on, we're going to get some nibbles, some drinks. Right, press play. No talking during it. Uh, anyway, you, you, you get the point there, yeah, that's cuts, yeah, so that is my, um, favourite Star Wars film. Um, absolutely. I would just mention I'm like my favourite Star Wars character, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, the prequel series is actually where he gets to, gets to shine. So, because obviously he's only in, because in, in the original trilogy, he's only in, he's only in episode four, and then sadly gets, So he's only in episode four, so the pr and you're like you, you watch thinking, well, well, that's a shit. I would love to, I would love to know a bit more about this character, and that's what the prequel trilogy does. That's what the pre we get. That's what we get in the prequel trilogy. In the prequel trilogy, we get to um, basically have character development on Obi Wan Kenobi. We get to see what this character was like in the before. We get to the events of A New Hope. So I just thought, it's kind of, this is, so the people trilogy, it's kind of like Obi Wan's story. He's got, kind of, he's kind of the main character in the people trilogy. You've got Anakin over here trying to just muscle in. I'm thinking, pipe down, you're not, it's not about you to the third film. Get, get, sit back down. I do feel the attack of the, the attack of the clones. He just I can tries to sort of start muscling in. Yeah, you've had a massive, gr you've, had, you've grown a lot. But that doesn't. But this is still Obi Wan's trilogy. You're the sidekick. That's probably that he's not trying to muscle in. Um, then the third one, you can't get the balance just right with those two. But for me, the prequel trilogy is Obi Wan Kenobi story. So. Anakin, the original trilogy is your story. So pipe the bin out, pipe the fuck down. <laughs> well, so I really do love Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think Ian McGregor plays him absolutely brilliantly. So it's great last year we got. 
supposed to be for him. Like, yes. I'm so glad that was a TV series and not a film. Because if you, you got a lot more out of the TV series, you probably would have done like a massive, what, three or four hour film. So it's quite glad that was a, that was a TV series, not a film. Um, but yeah, but he is my, um, he's my all, he, Elbow Curry, definitely all time favourite. Um, Star Wars character, absolutely, because I love that. Any more Elbow Curry, just let me know. Because I would just love to have more content featuring him because he's an amazing character. Uh, so, the sequel trilogy was kind of, was kind of the first time I got I um went to the cinema watching Star Wars films because I was I was too young for the pre when the prequel trilogy came out. So the first time I watched the prequel trilogy was kind of in the lead up to Force Awakens. Yeah. Oh yeah, in 2015, the summer 2015, I had to had a, had I had to have a massive Star Wars education. I had to do all six films, um, and then um, I watched them all in order. So, oh, in case, oh, in case you're wondering, by me, me that one well, is right. Episode one, Phantom Med. Episode two, Attack of the Clones. Episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Episode four, New Hope. Episode 5, Empire Strikes Back. Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Okay, that's how I did it. Now, no, 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 you die hard looking like that thing. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Well, I'm sorry, but I am a bit... I'm, I'm kind of one of these, um... I am kind of one of these freaks who are... If you sh if there's something... If there's, a, if there's a third order or something, I'm sorry. We've got to do it in that order. So I, I, so I don't care... If the Minnesota Trinity came first, look, that's got a number four on it. So we can't do that one now. We've got to do, we've got to do the, we've got to go back to the beginning. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't, I don't care. If the ball's taken the first one, no, look, look at that. Look on the disc, it's got number four on. We can't do that one. Can't watch that one first. Can't go back to the game. And eventually I got my way. I got my way in the end. We started on number one, two, three. Never can go till you hope. <laughs> I know there's going to be a lot of diehard Wookiees I've now just pissed off with that revelation but I'm sorry I'm one of these people where if you show me a series or it's a film or a TV series uh, the latter bits are set before the first one but they've got numbers on the disc well I'm sorry we're going to do it all on the, on the disc I don't care so there you go that's my way of doing it so yeah and I got my way so if you ever want to do a Star Wars so if you ever want to buy me for a Star Wars marathon please tell me what order you're doing it first and then I can go no because I <laughs> because if you don't because if you don't do it in number order then I'm not going to come and I'm not going to be the one that's going to do me the party pooper so bear that in mind kids bear that in mind okay so yeah and that's with anything with any film series any TV show if they've got, if they are numbered a certain way, I'm sorry, we've got to do it in number order. Okay, we've got to do it that way. Oh, just give me the disc and I'll do it on my own. Which is exactly what happened in the end. But coming back to the sequel trilogy, that was the first time that I had watched a Star Wars film in cinema. And I have to say, with, with, the, with, the, with the first one in the sequel trilogy, so with The Force Awakens, I just bought... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute here. Is this the same plot as in New Hope? Because that's what it kind of felt like to me. It kind of felt like, well, it's one of the Force Awakens, like, hang on a minute here. Hang on, hang on a minute here. Now, I've only seen the whole original trilogy once. I just could not stand it. I've only seen the original trilogy once. But hang on a minute here. I'm fairly certain I've seen this somewhere before. It's just you're using different characters in in different roles. So we've got Han Solo as the Obi-Wan Kenobi. We've got Kylo Ren as the Darth Vader. And we've got Snoke. What a waste he was. Snoke as Emperor Palpatine. And, um, and Poe Dameron in the role of Leia. 
Oh, nasty Star Wars movie with the times. <laughs> But he kind of was the layer in that one. He was, couple, he was the one that was the hostage, had to be rescued. <laughs> but this book was one of the books make me hang on, is this basically just, just 21st century version of A New Hope? It just... But at least the Starkiller base was more impressive than the, 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 the Death Star, right? With Starkiller, I was like... <gasps> wow. Death Star's just pointless. That just made the Death Star look inferior. I did one then when we got to for the last film. Oh, this is gonna make a bigger star better killer base. No, oh, disappointed. No. And then the second and then number eight, it was like I just it was just I just couldn't keep up with that. And also with snow, it's like really? Really? You can just easily just get decap decapitated and that's it. Now all hell breaks loose with a power with a power vacuum. Pathetic. And then don't go start with episode nine. Oh my god, how long did that go on for? And it just completely was just like no, there's just no point to it. And a lot, a lot of things didn't make make sense. Like why on earth was General Hawks the tr Hawks the traitor? That made no sense. It was just like, for goodness sake. I mean, I know he was not going to be able to be redeemed. Um, no matter how much I wanted him to be. But that just made no sense. There's a lot of, pl there's a lot of things in that. The sequel change of cars was like, right, you make it actually go up along. Just, yeah. Um, so when I watched those ones, I was kind of like half up with Marvel. It's like, how much long is this shit on for? And I'm not to stay home and watch the prequel trilogy again. It's like you just uh, no. Anyway, it's something to watch for the Christmas season, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, move on. Next news. Um Yeah, so the sequel trilogy, I'm not really keen on that either. Um So Yeah. But the thing but they meant to mention Marvel. The thing, what I quite like, not, like more about Star Wars than I do about Marvel is with Star Wars, is they're not ramming it down our throats. They're not constantly, year in, year out, flooding us with content. And I think that to me is what makes Star Wars more likeable than Marvel. Because with Star Wars, okay, you, you, it's, it's not all the damn time. It's every now and then you can come back and you, you, you want to watch it, great. If you're not a fan of it, that's the matter. Doesn't matter. But it's there for you. He wants to want to see it. Whereas in Marvel, you, you kind of force fed it. You know? And I think that's what makes Star Wars more iconic and more worthy of a legacy because they're only making these films and shows because they've got a story to tell and not because they feel like they need to f um, force speed the, mar the market this co piece of content regardless of how good it is or not. Um, so I think that makes Star Wars just a little bit more iconic than Marvel. I mean, I know a lot of people have, to have mixed things about each trilogy, but the fact that these aren't being fed to us year in, year out, that to me just makes Star Wars a little more iconic than Marvel, and for me, a lot more likeable than Marvel. So if you were, if you were to thought, so if you were, if you were to ask me on the streets, do I prefer Marvel or Star Wars? I would say Star Wars. Okay, it's only one air uh, Star Wars I'm into, but at least with Star Wars, I can pick a certain era that I'm into. With Marvel, I can't do that. So, <laughs> someone's asking me, which phase do you love about Marvel? Uh, well, like that bit, 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 that bit. It's like, no, 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 which phase? I'm like, oh, well, fuck off. But with Star Wars, you ask me, well, which era of Star Wars do you love the most? Well, obviously, I'm going to say people trilogy. So at least I can, for Star Wars, I can pick a certain era of the franchise that I quite like. Marvel can't do that! Um, but yeah. Um, so me, there's been... Yeah, so me, I'm, I'm more interested in Star Wars with Marvel. And with Star Wars, Chairs of Theme Parks, but in Disney, Disney Parks, I've been more... I've been more keen to do the Star Wars rides I have done the Marvel ones. I have done I have done Star Tours. Even though it's not the sort of ride I would I would do because it's, it's a because Star because Star Tours if you've been on Star Tours it, it, it is a simulation ride and I'm, I'm not so 
so you do get throw about quite a lot. I wouldn't technically normally, be, normally would do those rides, but I thought, well, let's have, let's at least have a go. Okay, let's have a go at it, and it was alright. But would I constantly want to keep going, doing that every time I go, I go to a Disneyland? I don't know. I might do it every now and then, but probably not all the time. And um, do you know what? I actually will, I'll say it on the record, just in case we don't get it. Um. Obviously, that's still up and up in the air with Papa Paris. I actually would prefer if we had a Star Wars land in the Marble Land right now in Paris. Um, not do a replay for Galaxy Days, like we find the American parts, but I would love it if Paris could definitely have a Star Wars land because I would be might be more tempted to do those rides than I, than I am with Red's Campus. With Red's Campus, I like, just take one because it's four. No, nope, I'm out. Whereas with Star Wars, I would be maybe more keen to at least have a go. Um, Nah, yeah. So I, 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 I honestly now do not know if Paris is even going to get one. But I would have loved if Paris would have had that land. A marble land. And um, yeah, and I've got I've got some great Star Wars stories. We've got we've got to go to Disneyland Paris. Some of the things they've done over the years, um, which I think have stayed for Disneyland and me and have told of Disneyland and me. So you can go watch that instead. Um. But no, so I, 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 I could, could I call myself more keen? I don't know. Um, but I'm more keen, keen about that than I'm about mar Marvel. With Star Wars, I'm more, I'm more keen on Star Wars than with Marvel. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, with mar with Star Wars, I could probably say, well, like this buyer, like like this ticket here, got that's my favorite character. So I'm more keen, I'm more keen about knowing when those come, those the contact contacts coming out than I'm with Marvel. It's just like. Ugh. Yeah, you know, so, um, yeah, so I, 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 I don't know. Could we, could, could we call me a walkie? I don't know. Well, we, I'll leave you guys to debate that. I'll leave you guys to debate that. Um, yeah, so yeah, um, yeah. So if it's got Star Wars, anything to do with the pre, the prequel trilogy? So from the start of the prequel trilogy, just up to just before the start of episode four. That's kind of part in the timeline that I am really interested in. If any content to do with that, I would definitely would, would always check it out. Um but yeah. No. We start we have I think the sort of this is all. I know it's with Star Wars content, I'm more keen to have to at least look into it than I'm with Marvel. With Marvel I, I look at anything you can be on I'm I mean you can easily look and go Yep or no and most probably we know. With Star Wars I'm more like to at least look into it a little bit and then I think right do I fancy that or not? And then it's just the next thing. So, I suppose I could consider myself as a walking more than a marbler, but I will leave you guys to be the judge of that with regards to Star Wars. <laughs>